Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariah Renee and I'm going to be showing you guys my May favorites. Sorry I'm a little late, but I figured better late than never. So I have three different groups that I'm going to show you guys. The first one's going to be makeup, second one is going to be some like fashion staples, and then the last one is going to be kind of like my randoms. So let's go ahead and get started. So my first makeup item that I have is actually from NYX when I went to the launch in Pleasanton, which is like 15-20 minutes from my house. So I'm actually wearing the foundation right now. It is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation in the color Chestnut. And so it has SPF 15. Um, I definitely really like it. It looks really matte when I first put it on, but you still have the bit of glow and like a little bit of oil that your skin should kind of exude because it definitely makes you look younger first off. And then, you know, you don't want your face to be completely matte. So I think that the title definitely represents what it is. So stay matte, but not flat pretty uh, accurate. So the next item that I'm going to show you is actually from MAC. Also wearing it right now is like my highlight, but I definitely went to work today. So my makeup's been on for like 10 hours. So sorry if I look extra oily, but um, this highlighter is soft and, gen Ugh. soft and gentle and it's the mineralized skin finish. Um, so it just looks like that. It's definitely very pigmented. Um, I usually put concealer underneath my eyes first and like a little bit on my cheek. And then I just put the highlight just to kind of accentuate it. Um, since I obviously have brown skin, it's a little harder to show. So I think that the, the concealer definitely heightens and brightens um, the mineralized skin finish. So definitely love this. Next thing that I have is also from MAC. It is a um, eyeshadow pod and it is in coppering. So... Definitely a bit very pigmented. It's kind of like a red, like burgundy. It's definitely very shiny, kind of bronzy. Um, and it gives you that nice like summer glow in your eyes, especially when you have like a really nice highlighter, maybe just a little bit of blush, um, and maybe like a nude lip. It's super duper pretty. Then the next thing that I have that I've had actually since Christmas, my mom actually gave this to me. It is a Christian Louboutin lipstick and it's in a nude color. It doesn't actually have a color. Um, maybe I'll link it down below if I can find it, but there's the color. It says Louboutin. Um, it's just a simple nude and honestly, like, it smells like like baby products of some sort, kind of weird. Um, and then it glides on super nicely, it's super moisturizing, it's a really good like foundation to putting another nude on top of it. Um, really, really pretty, I love the packaging. Um, it's just so like fancy. Um, it's definitely a little expensive, but you know, it's Louboutin, of course it's expensive. Then another product that I've been using for a very, very long time is the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray, and it's the oil control. So you can definitely tell that I've had it for a long time because um, it's super freaking dirty. But yeah, it definitely does its job. It keeps me oil-free most of the day. Um, I also have used the all-nighter makeup setting spray is long-lasting I definitely love these two especially as like a um, kind of using them interchangeably um, like you can use the oil controls like your as your foundation or your primer before you put on your foundation and then just kind of set everything with the long-lasting and it's they're both really good products so definitely love these um, but I actually don't need them with the NYX foundations which is really really cool so I'm kind of getting low but I'm doing a no shopping in June so once these run out I'm kind of on my own so I actually really don't need that much anyway so it'll be fun and so my last makeup favorite is from Lancome and it is um, a eyebrow pencil which I actually have them right now I've been using it forever I haven't even tried another um, eyebrow pencil just because I'm so obsessed with this one um, and it's in the color brunette so it has two sides the first one is just kind of to brush your eyebrows 
And then there's the actual pencil. I'm gonna need to sharpen it soon. They're like between $20 and $30, probably closer to $30, but it's definitely worth it. It definitely lasts me maybe like two or three months, um, and I don't sharpen it every day. I think I sharpen it like every other day or every two or three days. So definitely love this. And my grandma actually uses it too, and she's totally obsessed, but she goes through hers a lot faster. And I always keep like one backup with me because these are constantly sold out. Apparently brunette is like the most popular color, so they're always running out. So, you know, gotta stay stocked. So moving on to fashion favorites, I would definitely say if you follow my blog, themediarebel.com, you will see every single outfit that I've been wearing pretty much has a choker in it. I'm totally obsessed. I want to say like a month or two ago, I was in Forever 21 with one of my co-workers and I was like, you know what, I really want to be a part of this chokers trend and yeah, I've been wearing a choker every day since. So if I get dressed, there's a choker on my body, so obsessed. I usually layer them, but it's kind of running late today. So I just put on one and these are like super cheap. Forever 21 is great when you want to try new trends because everything's super affordable. So yeah, chokers is my first favorite. Then if you also follow my blog, you know that I am totally obsessed with flannels all the time. All parts of the year, there's never a time where I won't wear a flannel. And especially on the weekends with like leggings and like sandals or boots or something, I'm pretty much wearing a flannel either around my waist or like on my body. So this is one of my favorite ones. Um, obviously, it's like a simple button down. It's from uh, Joe's Jeans. They're definitely overpriced and you totally don't need to get them. But I worked there for a few months, so I got it for free. Um, but it's like, it's in the men, or it's um, a men's medium or large. So it's super oversized, super cozy. So obsessed with flannels. Then, you know, you can never go wrong with a jean jacket. Um, I think I have like two or three jean jackets. This is one of my favorites. It is from Topshop. I've had it, I don't know, minimum a year. Um, it's oversized. It has like a little bit of the distress detail buttons um, and then I usually roll up the sleeves but you can also leave it down uh, yeah jean jacket goes with everything goes with the dress goes with jeans just yeah so then another favorite that I have is actually from the who what wear target collection it came out a couple months ago but this is one of my favorite jackets that I'm constantly rotating into my um, daily outfits so this is from their collection it actually came with a belt um, but I just took it off. I felt like it was ne unnecessary, but I think it feels really good. The quality is really good. I think I paid like $30 for this. It has like this silver detailing. Um, you could either zip it. Um, and then it definitely is cropped, so be careful of that. I pretty much like to wear this with like high-waisted things or with a dress, something that kind of cinches at my waist because... Um, Crop jackets, when you're obviously not a size zero, makes you look a little bigger sometimes if it hits in the wrong place, like right above, you know, the places that you want to hide. Um, so just be careful with this. But otherwise, I usually wear it with all black because that's usually my outfit, like today. Um, but it pretty much goes with everything. So, yeah. My last fashion favorite is actually from H&M. I think I picked this up like a month ago. Um, I think it was in my haul video that I posted a little while ago. Um, they have this all black section in H&M and literally it's beautiful. I want everything in there. Actually the sweater that I'm wearing right now that has like the distressed detailing and then on the bottom too is from H&M in that all black section. But um, these are sweatpants, so they're definitely like distressed and they look super worn. They have pockets, which is amazing, and then they have little cutoffs, and then they are like tighter at the bottom. So they're pretty much perfect because, I mean, they're sweatpants and they're fashionable. Like, what's wrong with that? Now, my random favorites. Um, first, going to start with sunglasses. So, totally upset. Totally obsessed with Key Australia, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, they're like all over Instagram. I know that tons of celebrities um, shop there and actually have collaborations. I know Kylie Jenner has been seen with these. Um, and then I know Shay Mitchell from Pretty Little Liars had a collection with them. Um, and I know like a few like beauty bloggers and like fashion bloggers have had stuff with them. 
Um, so the first pair of sunglasses that I'm obsessed with that I just got a couple weeks ago um, are these white ones and then they have like they're depending on the lighting it's like pink or green so totally loving these they're like so amazing but they're so extra like it's ridiculous um, so you're definitely gonna have people like stop and stare at you which is kind of awkward but hey that's fashion and then the next pair of sunglasses that I actually wore today with my all black outfit, um, so it looked totally chic, are these. Um, they're just like the glass, they kind of look like the Christian Dior sunglasses, um, which I have a pair, but I think that these are nice and they're definitely way more affordable. I think their sunglasses are like 50 or $60, so they're just pretty much clear all the round. They're super big. Um, yeah, they're kind of perfect, so definitely love these now um, a super super duper random if you go to Target on a daily basis like I do you will see in the beauty section that they have Sonia Kashuk and I'm actually obsessed with um, the newest line that they came out with it's kind of cool I don't know I just have to show you so it has like this really cool pattern um, it says knockout beauty um, with little like boxing gloves, you are KO beauty, like it's super duper pretty. So yeah, these that's what I've been using to hold my makeup. I actually have two of these because I was so excited. Like the struggle to get the second one was so real though, but I'll save that story for another time. And yeah, I'm so obsessed with it that I actually got a TV tray <laughs> that has this little pattern. Like, it's so cute. And you would think that, like, TV trays are old school, but I actually use this a lot. So I'm kind of loving it. And it says, like, P.S. I love you. And then it says, you are K.O. beauty. So I think that it's, like, so pretty. So unnecessary, but it looks cute, like, sitting on my bed. And then I actually got a little makeup pouch too that has like the same kind of detailing. I actually have a Louis Vuitton like pouch um, that I usually put my makeup in but honestly like I love this so much more because it's so unique and I haven't seen anyone with any of this stuff from that collection so I don't know how it didn't get more hype on YouTube I don't understand but yeah it just keeps all of my goodies. I don't really carry like foundation or like um, touch-ups or anything it's really just lipsticks if I decide to change my mind at the end of the day so yeah ooh one more thing ooh. see almost broke my sunglasses so the last thing I want to show you guys let me just unplug it I actually got these super recently too are the power beats and they are um, wireless so these are my first pair of wireless headphones I don't know if I'm super late on like this thing but yeah so they're wireless um, so you can just kind of put them on like so so obsessed with these um, it makes it so much easier to listen to music because they're cordless you know have the issue of like pulling and then all of a sudden like all of your earphones come out so yeah, they're pretty cute. They're red. They're beats. It's super fancy. Blah, blah, blah. I'm really just trying to prepare myself for when the iPhone 7 comes out and there's no ear jack. So I'm like, let me give myself a couple months to kind of get used to the idea of being forced to wear wireless earphones. So, you know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm rambling. Oh, check out my blog, themediarebel.com. I always have still photos of like everything that I post on here, um, including outfits and like all of the favorites, a little bit more detail um, by product. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.